goodness. Okay. What role did management play in the agile transition? <sighs> what do they want to play? Um, yeah, this is... This is an interesting question because A, it presupposes the need for managers involved in the, in the adoption of Agile. And some people would say, no, we don't need managers. Okay. Um, I would take a slightly more nuanced view. Managers are good. Management is good. Management is ensuring that people are doing the right things. Okay. That's good. So what's the role of somebody who's doing that in an agile adoption, okay. um, that they're following a very loose idea of an approach, a plan maybe, not rigidly, but they're following the plan and adapting it as they learn. They're there to create an environment where this approach can happen. They're there to have conversations into leadership about the policies, the structures, the procedures, the tools, the culture that's getting in the way. They are there ultimately to support the doers. The role of a manager in an agile organisation is not, and a categorically not, to tell people what to do. Okay? They are invariably ill-equipped in that role. They may have been good at the role being performed. And that's great. Okay? It's a valuable skill set. But that's not their job. We're seeing a shift in managers. And it's not a change in job title and things like that. It's a change in their role itself, what they do. It is not about enforcement of process because the process needs to evolve as people learn and adapt as things come up. It's about coaching. It's about mentoring. It's about supporting the people who are on the ground doing the work, asking questions, helping them think better. Because ultimately, if you're adopting Agile, the likelihood is that you're in a knowledge working organisation and therefore value is created by thinking more than doing. So the role of a manager is somebody who is there to help others think. They're going to be coaches. They're going to be mentors. They may be teachers occasionally, but they are not directors in that authoritarian sense that we're used to. They are there to create an environment where other people can run the adoption. That other people can have ideas, they can come up with hypotheses, they can develop experiments of increasing fidelity as their confidence grows to learn what is right in this organisation for us to do our job. That is a far cry from the manager who just says, you do this and you do this and you do this and you do this. They're not responsible for tasks. A manager is ultimately in the 21st century, somebody who's responsible for the purpose. They are somebody who is going to say, this is why we need to achieve this. And I'm going to leave it to you as experts to work out how. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, Drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.